So if you have three planes that meet at a single point, you can use matrix algebra to find that single point. Now, this will only work if you are absolutely sure that they meet at a single point. If your planes don't meet at a single point, let's say they meet on a line, this technique is not going to work. You'll need a different technique. So doing this is really straightforward. You've actually done it before. So we have three planes here. Now you'll notice straight away that this doesn't have three variables in it. It doesn't matter. It's just zero Y in there. Okay, but these are three planes. Now we can write these three equations into a matrix. So I've taken all of the coefficients and placed them in this matrix. 1x, 0y, 2z, negative 3, 4, 6, negative 1, negative 2, 3. Make sure that you put all your x's here, all of your y's here, all of your z's here, even if they're written in a different order. Okay, and there we put x, y, and z there. Now if we did matrix multiplication here, we'd end up spitting out these equations, right? 1 times x, 0 times y, 2 times z. Um, and then that's going to be equal to the uh, solutions here. 6, 30, and Eight. All right, now, matrix algebra, you should remember your matrix algebra. This equation is of the form AX equals B, right? And you should remember that if AX equals B, we can do something called pre-multiplication and say A to the negative 1 AX equals A to the negative 1 B. So we're taking the inverse of A and pre-multiplying it. Now, a to the negative 1 times a, that's the identity matrix, which is just leaves us with x here, and that's going to be this bit here. All right, so that means that to solve this, we rearrange it by bringing a to this side, but the inverse of that. So I've done that here, I've taken this, I've brought it over here, but as the inverse. Now, you should be able to type that entire thing into your calculator, multiply by that entire thing into your calculator, and we should get a three by one matrix spat out of our calculator. All right, my favorite way to do this is to click the math button here and then click this button here, which lets me put in a three by three matrix. Just type those numbers. Once you've done that, just click this button here uh, to the negative one that creates our inverse. And then after that, I'm gonna put in a three by one which are my uh, solutions. When I click execute, I'll get my answer, and that's the answer that I am looking for. Uh, now there is another way to do this really quickly. You can click the MAT VCT button, but then you have to enter your matrices and then call your matrices in the equation. A little more uh, convoluted, but that's my way to do it. And there is our point of x intersection. x equals negative 10 over 11, y equals 18 over 11, and z equals 38 over 11. Now, cannot stress enough, this will only work if your three planes meet in a single point. If your three planes don't meet in a single point, when you get to this stage here and you ask your calculator to find you the inverse of this, your calculator will say, no, nah, 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 there is no inverse of that and then it cannot move further. All right, so this will only work if there is a point of intersection. If there isn't a point of intersection, or if you're not sure if there's a point of intersection, then you shouldn't use this method because you'll only waste time or not be able to get the answer at all. For that, we can use a different method, which we'll cover next.